napanood nyo na ba ang pelikulang R. Brandes Crisis? Panoorin nyo. Nakakatakot dahil halos parehong-pareho ang istorya ng pelikula sa ginagawa kampanya ni Mayor Duterte. Huwag naman sanang mangyari ito sa atin. Ang pelikulang ito ay tungkol sa presidential election sa Bolivia kung saan ang isang kandidato ay nangulilad sa survey dahil sa hindi maganda katauhan nito. Katulad ni Duterte, siya ay palamura. Babaero. I have to ask you, is this real? Does your wife know about this affair? My wife lives in America and she knows. Well, that's not good. This is all so. part of the past. That's so, not kita doon sa boarding house mo. Pasok tayo ng motel. Short time lang naman. Siuwi kita. Ah. Short time lang. Bastos. Ngayon, di ba, assistant president? Basta maganda siya. <laughs> Anong magiging role ng isang assistant president? Secret. Kasi, nire? No, oo. Oh. Isa rin lang. Pero, napakaganda. Dapat, ang mayor mo na ang mayor. Napakaganda. Dapat, ang mayor mo na ang mayor. <laughs> At bayulenting tao. Unfair to kill you or kill you, personally. Pinayara nila ang isang strategist para linangin at paniwalain ang mga tao na ang isang tulad niya ang kailangan ng bayan. Did you ever work for a politician you did not believe in? Oh sure, I could I could convince myself of anything if the price was right. How important is honesty? Oh, truth is relative. In politics, the truth is what I tell the electorate the truth is. Ang strategia nila takutin ang taong bayan at paniwalain na may krisis, na may malubang problema sa drugs at kriminalidad kaya't kailangan ng isang bayulenting tao. Well, a man's strengths flow from the same well as his weaknesses. Okay. You don't change the man to fit the narrative. You change the narrative to fit the man. Okay. Since love and fear can hardly exist together, if we must choose between them, it is far safer to be feared than loved. This is a crisis. And our brand, what we are selling, crisis. Hindi ba't ganyan na ganyan ang sigaw ni Duterte? There's so much corruption, there's so much crime, and so much drugs bad in the country. And it seems that nobody is minding this wrong. Pati ibang estilo doon ay ginaya nila. At ang campaign slogan? It's already yung cambio. It's time for change. At ang kay Duterte naman? Walan. Handa ka na ba? Handa na po, Mayor. Kali ka na. Baguhin natin ang bayan. Ang turo nila sa kanilang kandidato ay huwag sumagot ng diretsyo sa tanong at ibahin na lang ang paksa. Who gives a shit about what they're asking? The point is, is how quickly can you turn it around to what you want to talk about? Kaya rin ni Duterte. Siguro dahil maganda yung mga baril nila, ano, mahal siguro yung mga magbili doon sa mga baril na yun. Pero sa narinig ko po kanina na mas uunahin nyo po yung education kaysa sa defense. So ang tanong ko po, paano nyo po ma-i-implement yung ginagawa nyo po sa Davao City na ganun kaganda yung mga kagamitan ng mga kapulisan natin sa buong Pilipinas without compensating education? Yun la eh, or without increasing the budget of defense? Yun lamang po. Eh, alam mo, ganito yan. Yung cathedral ng Davao City was bombed twice. On Easter Sunday and the morning mass on Christmas Day. Yung airport ko binumba. Just as the arriving... Yung sana po pakisagot po yung tanong ng diretso. Kasi yung tanong ko lang naman po is, uh, hindi po ba matadagdagan yung budget for defense? 
sa pag-implement yun ng ginagawa niyo sa Davao City, sa buong Pilipinas, if ever you will be the president. So sana pakiisagot lang po ng diretso kasi nagtatanong po kami ng diretso dito para makauwi na po kayo. Ang hindi paghingi ng sorry. Do not apologize, but you do regret the incident, and you regret it. I will not. As a matter of fact, I am even willing to lose the presidency. Do not make me apologize for something what which I did. At siempre, ang paulit-ulit na pagsasabi na may krisis. Trying out the crisis message in the polls, sir. There are a lot of people who are saying that you are the only one who understands how bad things are. The message is working, or at least is stopping the free fall. So I say now, we bet the house on it. We say it on the stump. We say it in our spots. We say it to the press. We own crisis. Druga. Armed and dangerous criminals. Corruption. Paano nga ba natapos ang pelikula? nanalo si Castillo dahil nabola nila ang mga tao. Ngunit, pinagsisihan din ito agad ng kanyang mga taga-suporta at pati na ng kanyang strategies. Yeah, he did. Lie. That's the world. That's politics. That's how it works. It starts out with big promises and ends up with jack shit happening. I don't decide the man's policies. I cannot monitor his behavior after the election. That is not my job. Can't make him a good man. People are going to get hurt. Well, you know what? Getting hurt is unavoidable if you want to play this game. It's just what happens. tayong magpadala sa kanilang pananakot. Hindi karahasan at kamatayan ang solusyon sa ating problema. Nasa huli ang pagsisisi. Huwag nating sayangin ang ating mga boto.